Hi everyone. In this video, I'll walk you through a free installation of Microsoft Office 365 applications. So currently I have no um, Microsoft applications on my laptop. If I search for Word, for example, you see I don't have Word, you just see Wordpad here. If I search for Excel also, you see I don't have Excel app on my laptop either. So before you go through this installation, I recommend you uninstall any Office applications you have currently. So to do that, just come on to your search bar, add or remove programs. So when you, when you come on here, right, you just search for um, Microsoft Office, for example. So currently, you see, it's not here currently, right? But if it was here, it will come up. And what you do is you just come to the application. When you click on Microsoft Office, you hit uninstall and follow the prompt and that should uninstall Microsoft Office. So once you have a clean um, system, right, without Microsoft Office, you can now follow this tutorial. So to install Microsoft Office, I'll come onto my browser and I'll search for Microsoft Developer Program and hit enter. So the very first link, Developer Program, Microsoft 365 Dev Center. I'll click on this and I'll hit join now. So you have the option to sign into your account or you can create an account. So if you have a Microsoft account, you can put in your email and sign in. But for this demo, I will create a new account. So you can use an email or a phone number instead. So let me put in an email address. So you put in your email and your password and hit next. So my country. So I'll just put a random number there. So I'm asked to verify my email. So I'll go to my email and put in the code that was sent to me. I put in my password, the code rather. So I put in the code that was sent to me. And check this box, hit next. So um, you need to um authenticate to show you're not your robot. So I'll hit next. So once you complete the verification, it opens up a new tab. So here you have to put in your information. So I'll put in my country. And you can just put in a company information. So you can put in any value here, right? Just put in something that's valid. So I check these boxes and hit next. So what's your primary focus for this? So personally, I'll choose personal project, but you can choose whatever fits your situation. So I hit next. And what areas of Microsoft development are you interested in? So I'll go with Power Platform. 
and click on save. And this opens up the tab. So this is where you choose the sandbox. So you have instant sandbox, configurable sandbox. So I'll go with the instant sandbox and hit next. So region for your data center. Um, I'll just put a region as closer to me. So I'll choose my region, which is Europe, Middle East, Africa. Admin username. I'll just put um let's put the username here and admin password. Just put the password here. So it must be between 15 characters. So I'll just put a password that matches the criteria. and confirm password. So I click on continue. So you could, you could check this, right? If you want to, but I'll just keep this for this demo. So I hit continue. So we need to put um the phone number and for the data subscription. So I'll put in the phone number here. So it's mostly challenging to validate a phone number. So you try to put um, different phone numbers and see if they work. So I'll try a different phone number. So I put in my code. So once you put in your code, right, you have access to your developer account. So when I scroll down, you can see my domain name. You can see information about my developer account. And this subscription lasts for 90 days, right? But then as long as your your is active, you use it in developing and working with the applications, then it will be renewed. So um, I'll click on this option, go to subscription. And I'll need to sign into my account. So I'll put in my password. And sign in. So I'll do this later. I'll just continue. So I'll stay signed in, yes. And you can see uh, this opens up my Office 365 portal. So now um, the next step is to install the applications, right? So over here, I'll click on install apps and you have Microsoft 365 apps. So I'll click on this option. And you have the prompt to download the setup exe file. So I'll click on save. So it's done downloading. I can open this up.
I click on yes. So this this might take some time, right? But then once it's done, you have access to all the Office 365 applications. So as you can see, it's currently installing the applications on my system. Yeah, so finally it's installed. And like I said, right, it will take um, a while, but then once it's installed, we can open up the application. So I come onto my search bar and I can search for Excel. So I open up my Excel app and I have a prompt to sign into um, Office, right? So by default, you should have your, um, email address right here but if you don't see it here right or come back to my account and copy the email address so view account and i'll copy this email address that has the microsoft.com um suffix so i'll bring that in here so sign in and then paste the email address, right? And next. And here I'll put in the password we used to set up the account. So, um, so this is asking me to set up um, my authentication, but I'll do that later. So, ask later. So it's setting up the account with the um, information I provided. So let's come on to accounts, click on accounts, right? And here you see, right, um, these are subscription products for Microsoft 365 apps. If you don't see this, right, then you might see a prompt to put in your um, email address, put in your email address and sign in again, right? And then when you come onto the account tab, right, you should see that it's now activated. So now you have a Microsoft 365 um, license. So when I come onto the home tab, open up a new Excel file, you can confirm this, right? When I type in XLOOKUP, for example, so this is a newer function. You don't have this in older Excel versions, right? So this confirms that this is a 365 licensed application. So back to this um, account, right? So I mentioned earlier in the video that this is, uh, this account is valid for 90 days, right? However, once you keep the account active, right? Your um, 
accounts will be renewed. So one way to keep your account active, right? For example, come onto the admin tab, right? Now here, for example, you can create new users, right? Create new users. So you have default users, right? You could create a new one, maybe using your name, right? And put that here and use that to work on Microsoft application. Maybe create a Word document, create Excel files, et cetera, right? So if you check, um, I had I had um, a developer account I opened a while back and you can see this is an email from Microsoft, right? Renewing the subscription. So because I kept the account active, right? It was renewed. So after 90 days, right? Once it's active, you'll be renewed and you keep on using the free um, office applications. So I hope you got value from this video and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thank you all and I'll catch you guys later.